Hello everybody, we're continuing with chapter 9 of Gangster Granny. Boom boom. The Black Cat. Ben stared at his granny as she stood by the jeweler's shop, dressed all in black. Ben, she prompted, what are you doing following me? I just, I... Ben was so shocked he couldn't form a sentence. Well, she said, whatever you're doing here, you'll have the cops on us in no time. We'd better get out of here. Quick, jump on. But I can't. Ben, we've got about 30 seconds before the CCTV camera comes on. She pointed to a camera, screwed to the wall of an apartment block, next to the row of shops. Ben jumped on the back of her mobility scooter. You know when the CCTV cameras come on? He asked Granny. Oh, said Granny. You'd be surprised by what I know. Ben looked at her back as she drove. He'd just seen her preparing to rob a jeweler's shop. How could he be more surprised? Clearly, there was a lot more to his granny than he, than he had ever known. Hold on, said granny. I'm going full throttle. Throttle. <clears throat> she violently twisted the handle of the scooter to absolutely no effect that Ben could feel. They hummed off in the dark, going about three miles per hour with the increased weight. The black cat so don't miss a page there. It seems like I missed the page. No increased weight. Yep. The black cat repeated Ben. They were finally back sitting in Granny's living room. She had made a pot of tea and laid out some chocolate biscuits. Yes, that's what they called me, replied Granny. I was I was the most wanted jewel thief in the world. Ben's head was exploding with a million questions. Why? Where? Who? What? When? It was impossible to know what to ask first. No one else knows except you, Ben, continued Granny. Even your granddad went to his grave not knowing. Can you keep a secret? You have to swear not to tell us all. But Granny's face looked fierce for a moment. Her eyes narrowed and darkened like a snake about to bite. You have to swear, the old lady said with an intensity Ben had never witnessed before. Us criminals take our oaths very seriously. Very seriously indeed. Ben gulped, a little scared. I swear not to tell anyone. Not even your mother and father, barked Granny, nearly spitting out her false teeth in the process. I said, I swear not to tell anyone, barked back Ben. Ben had been learning about Venn diagrams in school recently, as he had sworn not to tell anyone. And let's say that anyone is set A, then mum and dad are obviously included in set A, and are, of course, a subset of it. So there was really no need for Granny to ask Ben to swear a second time. Take a look at this handy diagram. Oh, I don't think you, if you can see it there, set A, anyone in it, mum and dad. But Ben didn't think his Granny would be very interested in Ben diagrams right now. Since she was still staring at him with those scary eyes, he sighed and said, All right, I swear not to tell mum and dad. Good boy, said Granny as her hearing aid began to whistle. Um, on one condition, ventured Ben. What's that? said Granny, seeming a little startled by his nerve. You have to tell me everything. Chapter 10. Everything. I was about your age when I stole my first diamond ring, said Granny. You know what, guys? We might cut it there because I've got something else starting up. So this is going to be a really short chapter. Um, work as usual. So chapter, uh, write down the main characters, what happened in this chapter, and then draw up a short comic strip talking about uh, showing me what took place in this chapter. Thank you.